In the last video, remember, we reviewed inquiries. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I would, I would go back and, and watch that one because that's sort of managing the communication and interaction with customers. And specifically in the example that we provided, we were talking about a pricing request that came in from a customer. So in this video, we're going to focus on, okay, we, we've got that pricing request that came in from a customer. Now let's go out to overseas suppliers and get some pricing from them. So just to, to review for a minute, if you go back into the inquiry section, remember the system automatically created a RFQ document from within the inquiry. So when we entered what the customer wanted, then the system automatically created this RFQ, which is an Excel spreadsheet designed to go out to the overseas suppliers. Let me pull it over here. Designed to go out to the overseas suppliers where you're indicating, okay, we want pricing on 5,000 pounds of 250D low shrink natural yarn. And you can just email this out and then the vendor can fill it out and they can just enter in here what their pricing is going to be and then you can import that information back in and keep track of it. Um, so there is an import tool available to do that. Now let's say you didn't want to use the import tool. Um, you want to do it the old fashioned way which is entering those vendor quotes manually. Let, let's talk about how you do that. So that is from the sales and purchase menu there's offers. So we're going to select this and we want to create a new offer. So the first thing we're going to do is indicate what vendor, who's, who's the supplier that's actually gotten back to us here with, with pricing, let's say this company, and what inquiry is this related to? Now an offer doesn't have to be related to an uh, inquiry, but it can be. So let's say we'll choose this inquiry that we created before, and notice as soon as we create, we, we choose which inquiry it is it automatically fills in with who the customer is, it fills in with the product, it fills in with the quantity, and we just need to go in and indicate what price the supplier is quoting us at. So let's say it's 35 cents a pound. Um, now we could, let's say we're buying from a distributor or a broker um, or someone who's not the original manufacturer, we could indicate who the original manufacturer is. Um, the buyer is going to be the user internally who's working with the factory. The trader is going to be the user internally who's working with the customer. And let's put a date on this. Let's say 2-14-14. And let's say this pricing is valid through 3-14-14. And I'll say create. Now, there is in fact more information that you can enter and store associated with offers, which um, which we can take a look at. That's in this second link called Update Offer. So if we come in here and let's pick it to this top one here, we'll say we want to update this. You can, this is a lot of this is filling in from that previous screen, but you can indicate where it's shipping from and what the destination is. So we're going to look at the next tool we're going to look at is how the landed cost gets estimated. And if you t put in the ship from and destination, then it can estimate the, the ocean freight based on that. Um, you could have multiple products within an offer. You could also upload and attach if the vendor is sending you an Excel spreadsheet or something or some kind of spec sheets that you want to attach to an offer, you, you could upload that here as well. And then this link will show you any quotes that you've written out to customers associated with this offer. So if vendors offered you something and then you go, to, go quote the customer, there'll be a list of, of quotes that have gone out that are linked to this offer. Um, let's take a look at this price estimator tool. Now, the idea here is this is an Excel spreadsheet. It can be used as a worksheet for your own internal use or you can allow the system to estimate these costs for you. So it's, it's, it's kind of trying to come up with two things here. Number one is what is your true actual landed cost uh, and also what price should we be quoting the customer at? So let's look at column C here is the information about the offer. So we know that this is the product, this is the quantity, and here's the cost that the supplier quoted us, 35 cents a pound. And this is our actual material cost. Now this is an Excel spreadsheet, right? So there's formulas behind each of these additional costs here. And this is where it can be customized. So the duty rate we should know because we know the duty rate associated with each product. Um, 
you know, as I was saying before, the ocean freight, we can calculate based on ship from and ship to. Um, insurance charges, port charges, customs broker fees, you know, these things can be flat costs or a percentage of the total value. Um, or you can just use this to type numbers in if you want to. So um, if this is just something that you want to sort of manage manually, you, you can. And then it will come up with a total cost and a total cost per unit, which is the cost from the supplier plus any additional cost. And then factoring in a markup, this is the suggested price that you should be quoting the customer at. Um, so that can be used, that information can actually be saved back into the system too, and then this way when you create quotes against this offer, um, then it will use that price as, as the, the default price coming in uh, anytime you're quoting against this, this particular product. Also just another couple things in terms of record keeping, there, there is the ability to, from an offer you can just create a purchase order. So if we wanted to take that offer for the 5,000 pounds of that 250D low shrink yarn, we can just say create PO, and then it's going to grab all the information from the offer and just fill it in, and then all we need to do is you know change the shipping dates, and maybe you negotiated a better price with the supplier so you can say instead of being 35 cents, we negotiated 33 cents a pound, uh, and you create the PO from there. Also as far as keeping track of, of history, now if we go into that product, let's see, it was 250D low shrink. If we go into this product information, we're going to be able to see a history of offers that we've received in against this. So these would be the different vendors who have quoted us on this product, the date, um, the cost, and, and the quantity associated with each of these offers. Then we could drill down into these if you wanted to see that price estimator worksheet to figure out. Um, you know where, where all the costing information is coming from as well. You can do that too. Also, so that's that's going into the product and looking up the specifics. You could also go into a particular vendor. Um, it was this company here. So if we want to say, show us all the different products that this company has has quoted us on, that would be in this offer section here, and this would be a listing of all those different quotes that we received in and the date and you know the user that was working with them and um, and the pricing and so on